color modes in InDesign are interesting. The documents don't really have a document color mode, so changing the color mode is a little bit different than the other two programs, Illustrator and Photoshop. So let's take a look at that. If I go to create a new file, InDesign essentially has what is like a color intent. So if you were to create a file in pixels, the intent of that file is probably RGB. If you were to create it in inches or other physical measurements, the intent is more likely CMYK. We can see this difference, especially if we look at the default preset tabs. So if I select print and instead of picas, I'm going to just go with inches and hit create. I've created an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper here. And my color panel, if you look up here, shows CMYK because that's the intent. So I'm creating things in CMYK. Now, if I go up to file new and create a new document, this time for web or even mobile and create that color space actually changes to RGB, but that's essentially just picking colors in those modes up here. If I really want to, I can go to the edit dropdown down to either color settings to look at my color profiles or convert to profile. Converting to profile basically means you have a source and a destination, but that's just converting anything RGB from this source, this RGB source to a specific RGB destination. Same thing with the CMYK. So what if we wanted, and I've done this before, where the printer asks for things in CMYK, but I've done some things in Photoshop with images and they're, you know, 30 images in RGB. Well, I don't want to go and resave all 30 of those files just to replace them in my document. So what you can do is on export, when you're in the export settings in PDF export settings, we actually have an option under output. So over here under output, we have something called color conversion and we can actually do convert to destination and then it gives us destination. So this is taking everything in our document. It's basically making a PDF that is a specific color mode. And so if we scroll up here, we actually see the working CMYK or document CMYK as well as RGB. So if you want to convert your entire document on export to CMYK or RGB, in my case, I was converting to CMYK. I can select that mode or any other mode and then hit export. And that's going to convert even all my RGB imagery, everything to CMYK for that specific PDF, which worked really well when I had a lot of mixed color modes within my design and InDesign allows that you can use mixed color modes here. No issue. So sometimes you like to work in Photoshop in RGB and maybe even import your Photoshop document here into InDesign so that it's editable. That's fine. All you have to do is convert that when you're exporting the PDF. And that's how you can change color modes here in Adobe InDesign.